hey guys welcome to another video how you guys doing if you're new hey do not forget to hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate it you guys i said i wanted to start reading books and i did in january i read <coughs> These are the books I read, you guys. And I just want to talk about it briefly. I'm going to try my best not to spoil the book. Hopefully. And also, I, I've been watching a lot of people book reviews and stuff like that. And I don't know. I'm not a professional. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a professional. So, words like something something romance why a romance and stuff like that i don't really know i don't understand the terms yet and a lot of people actually use the word spicy so i think spicy means the sexual part so i'm going to, i think i'm going to use spicy but to be honest i only read books based on how i like the book so this is supposed to go back in there so i am not a professional i only read books to have fun to enjoy myself i'm not reading books to criticize or anything i don't even really like criticizing people so anywho i'm just gonna tell you how i feel reading these books okay so in january i read these books i'm trying to actually check my good reads so i can <sighs> so guys this is after like one hour or something my camera was overeating because of all the videos i've been doing anyway let's start the first book i read is this one one last stop by casey mcquiston <sighs> this book is actually a gay romance book okay and it's not something i'm actually used to i've never read a gay romance book in my life so this was like my first time and the story talks about august and jane august came from i forgot the place to new york and in new york she's trying to you know like start afresh she meets new people a flatmate one day she entered a train and then she met jane now it got crazy when she came out of this train and decided to enter the next train and then she realized that jane was on the next train and jane didn't get down from the first train so that was kind of crazy like later she realized that jane will always be on the train you know and even her friends when she told her, her flatmates about jane they went to the train but they, they never found jane you understand so like so somehow there was a connection between august and jane that was unexplainable but at the end of it she, they were in love with each other and the book kind of talks about how they got her out of the train you know their love you know the funny thing is jane has been stuck on this train for 40 good years you guys 40 years so it was now a debate of will she stay if she you know if she gets is it cured cured is the word no if she gets rescued will she stay in the present or go back to the past you know it's kind of crazy now my thought on this book i feel like the description in this book is just too much and unnecessary because at one point my high started skimming over to look at what they were saying and not really reading the details the details were too much and I could not really connect personally with the book like i could not like put myself in the shoes of anyone at all at one point i was even confused that because the way the description was going i was like what is happening but then you get to see all these drag queens and it's actually a kind of cool book so i gave it three stars on goodreads and oh there's another thing i said that i really really love about this book you guys the fact that they mentioned all these 70s songs that i really really love on my goodreads i actually said it like Freddie Mercury, like uh, Peter Gabriel songs, like they were in this book and I was like, oh, oh my god, I really, and The Righteous Brothers too, yes. In my vlogs, I actually show, like, about where I talk about it, I actually show you guys exact places where they talked about, you know, the song, you know, because Jane, Jane is from the past and August is here, so Jane was always requesting for old school songs on the radio. It's kind of cool. You guys can read it, but I gave it a three stars because I couldn't really pull my, le my, my leg. <laughs> I cannot put myself in the shoes of any of the characters. The next book I read, The Kiss Coaches. Oh my god. I love this book so much. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, it's about Stella Lane and Michael. Yes, so Stella Lane is autistic. This book is by Ellen Huang, and Ellen Huang kind of like opened my eyes to how autistic people act or feel or do things and i realized so many things like it's very very educational in my own opinion it's very very uh entertaining and spicy i thought i was going to use the word spicy it's spicy too <laughs> so like the <clears throat> so stella is autistic and she feels like she cannot please a man so she got an escort and you guys like i said in my vlog i didn't know what an escort was until my boyfriend showed me in the dictionary like i never thought about it, it means prostitute so 
Michael was the one and Michael does not do one client twice but Stella wanted Michael to teach her how to please a man so apparently she had to learn that it's not just for you to please the man but also for the man to be able to please you so that the spice is actually crazy so they fell in love so the book actually showed you how uh, Michael was able to learn her and also uh, learn her yeah learn her and also make her feel confident in herself and how they broke up and then they got back together like book is that it's actually a sweet sweet book i really love it and i gave it five stars like i said you guys i give the stars based on how they make me feel or how i enjoy it not in, in a critical level kind of nah i'm not a book pro so the next one i read is the hard principle also by ellen huang honestly you guys i wish I, because the second book I didn't have it it's not a I don't think it's a series because when I read this I realized that it was linked to this but even if I read this first I will still understand the story then I read this you know it doesn't really really matter how you read it the sequence whether you follow the one two three it's just that also this book is about Anna and Kwan Kwan oh my god Okay, Kwan has a tattoo, like he's one of these bad guys, reputation, like he's bald and you know, oh my god. So, Hannah is autistic, but she didn't know she's autistic. Like she had these symptoms of being autistic, so like she didn't know. So she just felt like she had to please people and she also had to like, you know, mask a real... So she was seeing a, uh, what do you call this, a counsellor, is it a counsellor? Therapist. Therapist. Yeah, she was seeing a th therapist and the therapist noticed that she maxes so many things she tries to please other people stuff like that so she's like a yes man is it a yes mom or a yes man anyone she was a yes lady always saying yes to everybody else even though it wasn't what she wanted then her, her father got sick and then stuff like that stuff like 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 this book is really really good it also opened my eye to many other autistic things that were not even mentioned in the first book which is actually really cool so it talked about how she loves Quan, but still said yes to marry someone else even though she like even though she didn't want to she only said yes because everybody was there everybody was expecting her and she felt like that was the right answer to give you guys you need to read it. it's actually really interesting i gave it five stars also this is the last book i read <laughs> you can't wait your husband by lizzie damilola blackburn oh my god i you already know i gave this five stars i freaking gave it five stars what's happening Okay, I thought something was happening because my phone just popped up. Okay, so I gave this five stars. Why? Because as a Nigerian that I am, I relate with this book 100%. Everything, our family drama, our crazy, 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 all those stuff. I related with this book crazily. Like, I was even like laughing. At one point, I'll be like, what the hell? And so it talks about Yinka. Yinka is a black girl, but not in Nigeria, of course, she's in, I think it's UK, London, yes, and she's 32 years old, so, and her junior sister is pregnant, like, about to marry, so, at the engagement party, they'll pray for her sister, then they'll pray for her, and the prayer they pray for her is, God, send her her husband, you know that kind of embarrassing? <laughs> <laughs> embarrassing thing so it was kind of embarrassing she's always embarrassed this aunties every time they see her they always ask her when will you marry you need to open your eyes to men and these are the things we face in this car i don't know like so she now started to want to conform herself there was even a part where she wanted to actually bleach her skin because she believed that guys only wanted white girls or girls that are curvy and she's not on the curvy side she's like a, you know she's a slim lady so like so many things and also from the the, the break ad break she got from her previous boyfriend also like that was another thing that actually added to the whole issue so this book actually talks about how she started to love herself how she started to you know understand that she didn't have to change herself just almost the part that even blew my mind is this part where she made her roommate, her roommate is also her best friend, cook for her so she could impress another guy by telling the guy, what's his name? I think it's Alex or something. I think his name's Alex, yeah. So that she could tell Alex that, okay, she was the one who made the meal. So Alex would love her more. And funny she even stole Nana's dress again. And, you know, it's kind of crazy because i'm just glad she like you guys you need to go and read it you need to go and read it just because she wants to get married and stop all these embarrassing things from her uh, family that's why she was doing all these things and it's very very relatable uh, there was a time when one of my aunties was telling me that uh, i should get married like when am i going to get married or, or where's the boyfriend and stuff like that obviously they don't watch my youtube channel if not they will know that i have a boyfriend or i have had a boyfriend since like tete but all the same sha it doesn't matter anyway sha mm. 
so apparently we go through this that's why i could relate it with it there was a point where this said auntie was telling me that i'm too fat that i should not get very fat or else guys will not want to i'm like <laughs> to be honest you guys this is real so i could relate with it the nigerian food everything mm -mm, you need to even if you're not nigerian i think you will still enjoy it because it's it's just the vibe yeah so that's it those are the books i've read um i finally got this one and it's I, I just read it yesterday and this is 3rd of february so it's going to be my february reads but i'm so happy that i got it the test by this is the, the supposed to be the second book by ellen huang but i'm going to tell you guys about it in the next week because this book is it's also autistic book i just realized that anna huang herself had symptoms of autism like she's an autistic person also so apparently that explains why all these things all these things anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm going to be seeing you very soon so i'll see you guys in my next video deuces tell me if you've read any of these books i want to know if you've read any of this or if you plan to read any of these books some books i may give five stars and you might give two stars it, it's just the way me i you know i understand the book i love the book see you guys later i'm already saying my patient at this point <laughs>